Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and it's time for the Roundup for the week ending on Saturday, February 18th. Let's look back, let's look forward, let's do all those things that we like to do on the Roundup. So let's talk about the week that we had last week. Two videos released, one for Super Crossfire. I really enjoyed that game, and I was really glad to see the comment from uh, Nitro Mountain, who uh, said that the game evoked certain memories of his childhood, as it does for me. And even though I know that Nitro and myself are many years apart in age, it is interesting that we as gamers can have shared experiences despite the generational gap, so to speak. It's almost like car collectors, you know, people who have fond memories of classic cars. Uh, you know, I could have had a 1969 Camaro in my youth the same way that my parents did because classic cars are classic and they hang around and people take care of them. Same thing with classic games. Those arcade machines sit around in the corners of laundromats and pizza parlors and you play them. Even if the game is 20 years old, you play it and you end up with this shared experience and it was fantastic uh, to hear a story like that and then as I say even though I know that we're a generation apart, uh, we have that common thread that binds us, as, as we all do as gamers, and uh, it's always nice to hear stories like that. That game, let me tell you, Retro Erection, because that was an amazing Space Invaders to the next level kind of game. Colorful as hell, loved it, wonderful game. If you get a chance, check out Super Crossfire. Hmm, wonderful. Radiant Games. Guy makes a lot of good games, Luke Schneider. A lot of really interesting stuff on his website, so check him out uh, if you are so inclined. I believe there will be probably be a link, if I remember to put it in, in the description below. We also made a video this week for Critical Mass. Critical Mass is a part of the Indie Gala number two. Um, I was under the false impression that the Indie Gala would actually be ending on a certain time frame, but it would appear that uh, when they sell out of the bundles that they have allotted, that is when they will end. So you can still get the Indie Gala even right now if you go to www.indiegala.com. You can still pick it up, and Critical Mass is a part of that bundle. Critical Mass, the Rubik's Tetroid Mind Boggler. Ugh. Oh. That game is so frustrating. Really, really interesting concept, and it bends your mind to think in three dimensions, which, as I mentioned in the video, uh, surprisingly isn't something that we do day to day. Like, we're not constantly thinking in three dimensions in those sorts of explicit terms, like we understand uh, depth perception and the distance be between things in 3D space, but we're not always thinking in that technical spin something around, move it around, look at it from all angles uh, sort of uh, sort of way, especially when it comes to puzzle games on a 2D medium like a screen. Uh, it really bends your mind a little bit and makes you think in a little bit of a different way for uh, for a few minutes, a few hours, however long you <laughs> however long you can manage to play it without throwing up your hands in frustration. Interesting title and yes, if you were paying attention, you could have won a copy of Critical Mass. Not sure who won it. Uh, I know Dragon Brad didn't, but uh, somebody won a copy of Critical Mass uh, by paying attention. I'm going to start doing stuff like that. I've got right now in my possession about a dozen game codes that I need to give away. Uh, I'm, I'm like the... Uh, I'm like the crazy electronics salesman from the 90s, you know. I'm Crazy Dave, and I gotta give these things away. I'm slashing prices, except for, in this case, prices are not relevant. Look, I got codes. I'm gonna give them away. Mostly keep your eyes on BigDavisCheap.com. That's gonna be the place that I tend to give those away because I want to reward the loyal few who actually look at the website. And I know how many people look at the website. Uh, so... Yeah. Interesting game. Maybe you want a copy. If you did, let me know in the comments below. That game also got, uh, or my tweet about that game got retweeted by Indie Gala, uh, so we got about uh, 40 or 50 extra views on that video than it probably would have gotten otherwise. Eh, cool, you know. Glad to get myself out there, but really I'm just glad to get uh, the, the game itself out there. And if my video sells two or three Indie Gala bundles, great, wonderful. I hope that uh, you enjoy pulling your hair out while playing Critical Mass. <laughs> also this weekend, speaking of the website, we opened it up to contributors. Uh, Nitro Mountain and Dragon Brad signed up, and uh, that's really cool. Can't wait to see what they uh, do. I already know Dragon Brad has one article in motion, and uh, I've read what he has so far. Looking good. And uh, really looking forward to this sort of interplay, uh, inviting the community in to talk about the things that they value and really just expanding the discussion to... Anybody who wants to participate. 
Super cool. If you're interested in signing up, go to the website and look for the post Contributors Wanted. I'm also going to put something in the top menu bar as well that will point to a static page where you can find this information as well as a list of our contributors, our contributing authors. So now let's talk about the future. Next week, what are we going to do? Well, video content is going to be minimal. Maybe one video if I can muster it, but the promised retro roulette is not going to happen. Yes, it's becoming my vaporware. It's becoming my Duke Nukem Forever. But yes, remember, even Duke Nukem Forever got released, so eventually it will happen. The reason for this, if you read the website, you know this already. My wife is a freelance writer, editor, and she had some major projects due. So I gave over the computer and let her work to her heart's content on her multi-thousand word articles that she had to write. And uh, I do believe that she successfully completed those, but that left me with little time on the computer. However, that did mean that I uh, dusted off the old PlayStation 3 and downloaded a crap ton of demos. So I'm going to write a little article about the demos that I played. Uh, chief amongst those was the, the moder modern warfare. Getting ahead of myself here. The Mass Effect 3 demo, which I played several hours of on the PlayStation 3 and then later downloaded on the computer because I, I think I'm going to buy Mass Effect 3 for the PC. Uh, it's it's always a difficult thing. I have some, have some real issues with... Uh, coming to grips with the idea that I'm going to plock down 60 bucks on a game, but EA made it a lot easier by offering Battlefield 3 as a pre-order bonus, so uh, that way my cheap mind can go, oh, I'm only paying $30 for this one, and I'm paying $30 for this one. That seems reasonable, right? So uh, that deal is pretty darn good. For those of you who don't know, uh, if you pre-order before, I believe it's March 5th through Origin, uh, you can pre-order a copy on any medium, PlayStation, Xbox, whatever, you get a PC digital download of Battlefield 3 for free. Super cool. I think I'm going to do it. So I put in a lot of time on the PlayStation 3 version and then moved over to the PC, put in a lot of time on that. I got to tell you, the multiplayer is really good. I really thought it was going to be crap, but it's really fun. I've been playing a Vanguard, Biotic Charge, fucking awesome Man, I love that move, and I, I've, I've biotic charge right in the ass with a shotgun. Hmm, love it, love it. The multiplayer surprised me to no end. I was pretty much in the boat with everybody else. I thought this is oh, why are you tacking on multiplayer to this game? Come on, money hungry EA, Bioware. You're already bringing money in by the truckload with Star Wars: The Old Republic. What are you, what are you trying to do here? But they fucking pulled it off. They did it. It is it is amazing. If you haven't played this demo yet, play it. Multiplayer is great. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Really surprised. Really surprised by this. I totally suck at first and third person shooters on the PlayStation. But I even managed to have fun on the PlayStation. And I'm doing even better on the PC. So uh, Mass Effect 3 demo, check it out. The rest of the demos I'm going to talk about uh, in the article. Played a lot of stuff. Uh, let me just try to ramble some of them off, rattle some of them off. Uh, Puddle, a couple of Pixel Junk games, Syndicate, uh, Gotham City Imposters. Uh, let's see, what else do we play? Uh, Rochard, three or four others. Talk about them in the article, and I'll give you my thoughts on each individual demo. So um, Retro Roulette, it's going to happen. I, I said before... If it's going to be a fucking puppet show, it's going to happen. One of the problems that I had was I was trying to do this um, live commentate first impression style, and I realized that's not going to work because I'm kind of like awestruck by the game I'm playing because it's such a vivid childhood memory for me. So what I'm actually doing now is I'm going through and I'm playing the game and I'm just giving myself live notes. Um, I'm talking about things uh, that I'm experiencing, but I'm not doing it for the final cut. So I'm going to script out, based on my notes that I take during gameplay, um, I'm going to script out a script, and then I'm going to read that back over the gameplay. So just a little bit more of a production, and I think it's going to make it better in the end, because it's going to mean that I can do the things that I want to do, like talking about the game, giving information about the game, giving, uh, telling you know some personal stories about the game if it affects me personally, and also just generally trying to be uh, smart and witty and cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lost cause on that one, but uh, I really want Retro Roulette to be my show, like high production values, to be the thing that I do when I do it once a month, twice a month, however often I can muster 
I want it to be something worth watching, and I want it to maybe even be the thing that starts to get me noticed. And I don't mean like, I'm going to be internet famous. I just mean some more people are going to watch it. People are going to find it interesting because that's all I care about. I care about people watching my content and enjoying it, whether it's five people or 500 people or 5,000 people. I just care about putting out something I'm proud of and that people enjoy. And I think this can be uh, can be one of my most successful series if it can come out the way that I intend for it to come out. So I'm taking the time that I think the series deserves, and that's the reason that it keeps getting pushed back. Uh, but yeah, I'm telling you, if February ends and this thing is not like 90% in the can, I'm doing a fucking puppet show. And at this point, I may still do a puppet show, <laughs> just, just for laughs. So uh, heads up for a retro roulette puppet show. All right, I think the last thing I intended to talk about was uh, Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Uh, it is doing a free multiplayer weekend. Hopefully you've experienced it. Uh, interesting. Interesting that the game is doing that. I don't know if that's maybe to bolster PC sales. They, they're doing a, a bit of a price drop sale uh, down to about 40 bucks, and uh, doing a free-to-play weekend. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I gave it a chance. I uh, played it a little bit. I might do a video on it. Uh, just sort of an extended first impression. I've, I've played maybe two hours, uh, managed to squeeze in, you know, like little matches here and there. And um, it's interesting. I understand, I think, why people like it, uh, but I'm on the fence about it. Uh, there are times when I get a visceral feeling from it, like, oh yeah, fuck yeah, take that, motherfucker. And then there are times when I'm just like, wow, I just died three times in a row, and I didn't see where the guy was any time. If it wasn't for kill cams, I would have no idea where the hell I got shot from. So I don't know any of the maps, I don't know any of the guns, but I'm having some fun. I, I would say right now it's 50-50. You know, 50% of the time I'm cursing uh, in frustration, and 50% of the time I'm cursing out of joy. So, uh... Play it if you haven't played it. You may still have a few hours to jump in and uh, experience the multiplayer. Uh, but other than that, I think that's pretty much going to tie it up. I noticed that there was a free-to-play game released on Steam. I think it was called Brawl Busters. That really sounds weird. Brawl Busters? I'm not sure. It was a cartoony uh, combat game. Sort of a Team Fortress vibe about it. But, eh, you know, we'll check it out. It also sort of reminded me of the game Microvolts, if you've ever seen or played that. I really enjoy Microvolts. I wasn't sure I was going to enjoy it when I downloaded it, but it ended up pre being pretty damn fun. Uh, it's because it's just a mindless arena combat game. Nothing to it. It's a third-person perspective arena combat game. Take it, at, take it at face value. Take it for what it is wonderful and i think this game looks like sort of the same thing so check out steam a couple cool things going on also if you're into alliance of valiant arms apparently they're doing some kind of double up g coin weekend or something i believe g coin is their pay currency so not real sure about that but uh yeah so next week you might see max and the magic marker not real sure about it the game in the background was probably probably space marine fingers crossed Otherwise, I don't know what it was. It was probably some Modern Warfare 3 footage that I picked up. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening to my rambling. And, um, yeah, that's going to do it. Until next time, I have been Big Dave. Take it easy.